Hello there, it's the Archivist from TradingCardArchives.com. I'm back with my blue gloves on to do another video on trading cards. And I'm not going to lie to you guys, I only have five or six more pairs of blue gloves, and then I'm switching to purple gloves. I'm excited for it. It's going to be awesome. I don't have them here yet, but they're going to arrive later this week. Uh, I'll, I might do a gloves unboxing video again. I did that before. Uh, so I know it's, it's kind of a dumb thing, uh, but it's big for me, right? I've been a blue glove person now for like a year, uh, but purple is my favorite color. So I figure I should switch over and uh, do purple gloves. So uh, that's what's going to happen. But anyway, this is not a glove video. This video is about one piece trading cards and specifically the best ones. Uh, and I didn't do a full, like, one-piece battle yet. I'm waiting for one more box to get here. But this set is mind-blowing. It is so much fun to open. Uh, the variety of cards that you get is crazy. The quality of just the box is incredible. The artwork is insane. It's just, it is wild. Uh, and so I can't wait to uh, rip one of these. So I bought three more uh, because I liked it so much and so we're gonna rip one right now the whole box we're gonna save one of these to use in a giveaway someday because remember uh, if we can get to 420 subscribers I'll do another giveaway and we're at about 271 so we're really not that far away from that uh, it's definitely achievable maybe by the end of the year even if, if we uh, work at it and the way you can help is Give me a subscribe or a like if you uh, enjoy this type of content and you want to see more of it. You know, uh, like the videos that you want to see more of, because I just earlier this weekend did a viewer's choice, which is based on exactly that. You know, I go through the analytics and I see the videos that are good, and then I make one video with all of those in it. So uh, that's, that's what you can do. Uh, okay, so let's get to, to it. So we've got some One Piece boxes here. We've got three of them, and I think you know what's going to happen. Uh, if you've been watching the channel at all, uh, I always go to random.org, which is a dice rolling website. And on this website, uh, I can set any type of dice or randomness that I need. And in this case, I'm going to roll a three-sided dice. And I'm going to roll it uh, three times and take the third result, and I'm going to throw away the first two results. So I'll show you how that works. So I've just rolled the dice, and I got a three, but we're not going to accept that. We're going to throw it away. Get the next result is a one. We're going to throw that away. And then the third is a three again. So this is what we're going to open right now. And these two will go into the archives for later. Yeah, I'm I'm honestly very excited. Uh, I've never ripped an entire box of this yet, and I'm kind of curious what the hit rates are going to be like when you get into a whole box of it. So that's kind of why I bought them right away like that. And if it's as good as I think it is from the few that I opened, this might be like one of the best trading card set value out there. <laughs> Like, this might be one of the, like, this might be it, right? This might be the best. Uh, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Uh, but yeah, first you can see the quality of the box, just beautiful. That's that uh, Kabog animation. Uh, they're the ones who kind of designed this, I, I think, anyway. And yeah, you open this thing up, and I guess this box got a little beat up, honestly. There's some, uh, there's actually, like, quite a lot of, dust and dirt and, and like i don't know printing residue inside there the other box looked nicer but you can still see it's a pretty good good looking set and then yeah we have this uh well, hang on i want to pause because i want to see if the pictures are the same in each box i'll be right back all right i'm back i just got my other box out Okay, so it is the same picture. Yep, okay, so same pictures. <laughs> Just wanted to check. <laughs> All right, so we'll keep going. 
the last box like this that I opened had two hit packs in it. And maybe I just got incredibly lucky there, and that's what kind of tricked me into buying more. Tricked is the wrong word there. Um, but, but this one seems to only have one hit pack in it. Although it's pretty thick, so whatever's in here might be kind of interesting. And then the rest of them, we've got seven. So it's almost like this is a hit pack, but or an, or an extra pack. Maybe. I don't know. I mean, yeah, like, because there's 13 of these, so I think maybe that's it. There's like four different colors of these, and I think this actually is another hit pack, maybe. I'm going to put it there, you know. But anyway, there you can see the box, just uh, such a nice thing. And wait, look, at the, look at the artwork. I'm sure, I'm sure that's stolen from somewhere. I, I don't know, I didn't actually uh, go look. But, or it might be, you know, officially licensed. I have no idea. Uh, I just really like this set, so I just think it's a great set. So that's why we're open. All right, let's put that over there, and let's dig right in. Here we go. First pack of the day. And it, it really is, even though it's uh, 7 p.m. here. This is my the first pack I've opened all day today. Because I just didn't do any more. I did a lot of scanning, but I just didn't do any pack opening. So here you go. Uh, Nico Robin uh, looking um, comfortable. Uh, yeah, looking comfortable on this SR. That's an SR. I think that means it's like, you know, like a low rarity card. This thing looks crazy though. Wow, that and the back of it is uh, so nice. And oh my goodness, look at that! Just look at that thing. Wow, that is bonkers. Oh my, LGR. All right, well I am going to pull the flyer up and see what we just pulled. I'll be right back. Yeah. I mean, after going through the flyer there, I actually kind of believe it might be like a huge set. I don't know about 500, still seems like a lot, uh, but at least 200 various cards in there. There's a ton of rarity levels, like a ton. Um, but this is one of the highest. In fact, it is two away from the top. So the top, as far as I could tell, was like an EX, and then there's an SP below that, and then LGR is right below SP. Uh, and, I mean, it's hard to see because it's really reflective, but this card has the most intricate... You can kind of see it down here a little bit in the video, I think. Ah, uh, there. See, it looks like a fingerprint, almost? That is some of the finest refraction texture work I've ever seen. So what that is, is it's like the grooves of a record. You know, like a vinyl record has these kind of grooves in it. You can feel it with your finger. You can feel that too, although it's so fine that you might not be able to actually feel it. But that is the, is the finest I've ever seen done. Uh, and it's covering the entire card. So all of the surface is that, except, you know, this logo is stamped silver. Uh, that's not, but the rest of it is all this way. And it makes it look great, like very crazy, right? You, you can see it for yourself. Uh, yeah, it makes the card very like explosive in color. Awesome, really cool. Happy to get that for sure. Uh, that's just one pack. Like I said, it's a fun set to open here. Yeah, let's grab another one. Let's see what else we can get. Oh my, oh gosh, oh golly. Oof, okay. Well, I think this is my second SP, but this is probably the most beautiful one. Let me just put that away real fast here. Put that to the side and we'll take a look at this. And so yeah, this SP is, uh, I guess I guess it kind of makes sense because this has silver and this has gold. So this is like third to the top rarity. This is second to the top. The only thing above this is EX, and then some numbered stuff and prize stuff. So, two packs, two of the top 
parts in the set. Uh, now there's like 12 different ones of those to find, so we didn't get all of them or anything, but uh, still pretty cool. And now this is an HR. I'm not sure it has, I don't think it has any 3D on it. Usually HR cards have 3D. I think this just has a very fancy, or maybe it actually is refri I am not sure. If it, if it if it if this is lenticular, it's a very weird effect. It's like a border between lenticular and refraction. Again, like cool looking card, right? With these stamped gold uh, in it, and then this crazy wave pattern, and just the artwork. <laughs> Wild man, I love this set. I really like it. It's not cheap though. The reason I got only three and not four is, well, C1 sells them in sets of three at a little bit of a discount. That's kind of why I did that. But usually they sell sets of four. But in this case, you know, it's sets of three for the same price as the set of four. So it's uh, not cheap boxes. I, I think they come out to about $24 each or something like that, maybe 26 um, so yeah, this is another very cool card. Um, I'll go check the flyer quick and figure out, but I, I think it's right below LGR. But I need to go uh, take a look. It looks like a sketch, but it's, uh, you know, it's not. It's going to be a printed card, but it kind of looks like a sketch. I'll be right back. I'm sorry. I had things a little bit wrong. Uh, I, I'm, I don't know how I got that wrong, but ZR is in between these two. So if you're Talking like rarity levels, it goes like this, you know, third, second, first. And then EX and numbered above that, but as far as regular rarities, uh, that's the order. So <laughs> three packs, three top rarity cards. That's pretty good, not going to complain about that. And then these SRs are the base, so what we're, you know, this card here is like a base card in a set. Yeah, it seems to just feature basic character art, which is fine. When you've got stuff like this in the set, base doesn't mean I don't even care. I, it, these could be blank cards, I wouldn't mind. Because those are so nice. And so this set, there's a blue version of it that I think is just older. I don't think it's a special version or anything. I think it's just older. Uh, but it's a blue box instead of a black box. And I ordered one of those as well, so that will be here. So soon. It, it was actually ordered in the same order that these came in, so I expect it, you know, tomorrow or, or Tuesday or something like that. Uh, and yeah, I mean, you saw what just happened there, right? I'm freaking out a little too. But yeah, we pulled another LLGR. It just, that's just rains hits this set, just rains them out. It's just like, here, have a, it's like if you went to Vegas or something and, and sat down at a slot machine and it just was like, here, you just win everything. <laughs> it's kind of what this set is like. It's, it feels like cheating almost uh, for trading cards. And then check out that art. This is one of the best looking Polaroid style cards I've ever seen. Uh, I don't usually like them because they it's kind of a cheap effect and you end up with just a bunch of frame art. But on this case, the framing looks cool. You've got this like printed signature that's neat. And if you see, they did some great shading here uh, to make it look almost like there's actually uh, two layers to the card. There isn't, but it looks like it. And then, of course, the beautiful foil work, too. This LR is also very high rarity uh, above HR. So on the... Uh, there's stuff missing now. Like, these these are in the correct order. There's some things missing here. Uh, but HR, LR is uh, below LGR. The GR is in between the two. And a few others. Like I said, it's a huge, massive set. Uh, I, I will do a post on this set because, I, I mean, I like it that much now. Uh, I just need to get some time, maybe Friday night or something, I can write up a post on it. 
But yeah, I think more people need to know about this set. It's one of those things where even if you don't especially care about the One Piece franchise or the like anime of One Piece, I don't watch it that much. I've watched a few, but I don't know a lot about it or anything. Uh, but I can still appreciate these cards for just being like epic, right? Uh, and I, I feel that anyone who appreciates trading cards, like look look at these. <laughs> They're so good. Uh, we we pulled another one of those ZRs. So just just raining hits. This set has a full suite of SSR cards and uh, UR cards. These are SRs, right? There's a whole set of SSRs and a whole set of URs that look amazing. We haven't seen a single one yet today. And that's kind of how generous this thing is, right? Like, just bonkers. Completely bonkers. It makes me want to just go order more, but I'm not going to because the, there's a lot of stuff coming. A lot of Chainsaw Man coming that I have to prepare for. Uh, eight, eight boxes of the newest Chainsaw Man are coming, even though I haven't opened any of it yet. That's how confident I am in that set. Oh, a puzzle card, and I'm not even that mad about it. Like, I'm not, you know, I'm not happy to get a puzzle card, but I'm not angry about that. It's pretty good looking, and I think that's what the full image would look like. I have this piece already, and so now I have, I guess, this middle piece here. So it would be, a, you know, a nine-piece puzzle if you had the whole thing. These HRs have a very interesting artwork. <laughs> See that? Such a crazy interpretation of, of the character there. I don't know what that style would be called. What would you call that style? Like a Japanese cyberpunk style kind of? I, I don't really know what you'd call that. I feel like I've seen it. I feel like I've seen an artist that does art that way. And I always worry when I'm praising a set like this, I worry that they just stole that from somebody, right? I don't know. If you know, post a comment, let me know, and I'll, I'll let everyone else know. But, uh, you know, it might be the case that they just copied the art style, which is you know different from straight up stealing the work itself, right? Oh, here we go. So here's one of the SSRs. Okay. I was wondering if we were ever going to get, like, anything lower, uh, lower rarity. But yeah, there's an SSR. The SSRs all feature them playing not just basketball. I think there's a couple other sports, but different sports. We're getting close now to having a good set of the rarities. Not all of them still, but... Uh, we have a few more packs to open. We might fill it all in. I'm trying to put them in the order that they go on the <laughs> on the flyer. With the puzzle being aside, that's a separate one. But it will be SR, SSR. There would be UR, then GR, HR, LR, LGR, ZR. And I think there's something in between these two that I'm missing. Sorry, we'll see. Like I said, I don't have the flyer memorized quite yet, um, but man, I am, you, you could not be happier with the result already on the table here. Uh, to, for a set to spit out five of its top three rarities in a single box is already crazy. <laughs> like your typical box, even these premium level boxes, you're going to get two or three top rarity cards. In Star Wars, you get one, and then you get two minors. So you would get like one of these and two of these in a whole box of Star Wars. And this is what you get from just one of these. I'm not even not, I'm not even done with the box yet, and this is what we have. It, it, it's it's crazy. It's 
there's another one of those nice looking LRs. Ah, okay, so here's, yeah, so here's the UR. Uh, I don't, and I don't understand this card. It is layered. This, this card has a lenticular effect on it. Uh, <laughs> it's not going to show up in the camera. I don't know how to explain what I'm seeing with my eyes here. Uh, it it kind of looks almost like faded color, like it's a dirty window a little bit. And that's because there is like a really fine lenticular lens over this entire thing. But it's two directional. And I think that's what's creating these lines that you can kind of see everywhere. Like that holographic pattern of lines, that's what's creating that. That's awesome. So that's a UR. <laughs> now you know what a UR looks like. So th there's these are the base cards, SR, SSR, UR. The UR is mesmerizing, it's beautiful. I cannot say enough good things about this set. Uh, oh, here's another. Few dupes. We didn't get any dupes yet. None. I mean, we're probably going to get one. I, I, I'd be shocked if we get through the whole box without a single dupe, but, but we didn't get any yet. Another basket. I say basketball one. In this case, you know, she's just, just a cheerleader. But still. Certainly basketball adjacent, right? These are this GR level. I didn't talk enough about it. We pulled this one earlier. Uh, it's cool. Like it's got that graffiti street art style and then tons of different types of foil effects on it too. Great looking set. We're still going. We still have three regular packs and possibly two hip packs. I don't know. It might be this... This could just be a regular pack, too. I really don't. It's weird. I don't. I bet I just don't understand. Cause, yeah, I, don't, I guess. I guess it, the other pack did say like hit pack on it, but this one doesn't. Like this does doesn't have any special markings or anything. It just was a different color. In the other box, uh, I think I got mostly blue packs again. So I wonder if it's always mostly blue packs. I don't know. <laughs> We're going to have to open more of them to find out, which, hey, no complaints. I'll, I'll happily happily open more of these. It's another LR with a little squirrel. And another one of these just amazing, amazing looking URs. Just check that out. My goodness, how pretty. I, I'm like shocked. I'm just shocked at how awesome this has been. Uh, although obviously the top hits were at the top of the box and now we're pulling more of these near the bottom of the box. I don't know if that is planned or not. I have no idea. But it seems to be true, right? Because we seem to be pulling more of the base cards now near the bottom. Uh, which is fine. They're awesome. I have zero clean. Like, look at that card. That card looks amazing. The card behind it, amazing. And still no dupes. Like, like, like none. Not a single dupe has been pulled yet. I think there's that is a dupe from one in the last box. But that doesn't count, right? Because then you're, you're talking about two different boxes. Man, this is just bonkers. So I think the Bleach set that I've been sort of hunting for a while now, that I, that should actually get here soon, is by this same group. So I'm just super excited for that, too, to, to see that. Oh, I got another LGR. Holy crap. I hope you can say that on YouTube. I think you can. My god, that is gorgeous. Uh, let me put it over there, maybe. Wow. And, and it, that's cool, too. I mean, I'm sure it's just a... I mean, it's just an SR, but it looks cool. 
Just an SR. No dupes. Six major hits so far. And now we'll open this, which again, I'm just not sure if it, it was meant to be a hit pack or a regular pack. Uh, we'll know if it has one card in it, it was meant to be a hit pack. And if it has more than one card, it... it okay, so this was just a regular pack. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I, uh, yeah, I talked that up way too much. That was just a regular regular pack there. Uh, okay, and it's got another HR. But again, it's an HR that I don't have yet. It's new, right? What an awesome distribution. So a single box, and they've got it down to this, like, science. <laughs> and again, I might just have gotten lucky, right? But it's like three, 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 two, one, right? It's almost like there was this distribution and, like, five down here. It's, I mean, I don't know, right? Probably not, but it could be. Okay, let's pop this. This is some very thick card, too. Whatever's in here is hopefully going to be super cool. Yeah, look at that. We like gold. Okay. Wow. Oh, my. Oh, it's pre-sleeved, too. That is numbered. Oh, if you could see my face right now, I'm very excited. I know that's a high number, but with a set like this, any numbered card is royalty. So what does it look like? Man, that's beautiful. And then it has a, like a little gemstone in, embedded in it. And so remember when I was talking about the rarity levels and I was like, these are the top three, right? And then it goes up into EX and crazy stuff. I was sort of glossing over a lot when I said crazy stuff. Uh, there are at least 12 rarity levels like this above SP. <laughs> and so I consider those to all be, you know, numbered exclusive promo rarities because they're all above that. Uh, and so we, we see one here. <laughs> But that's where this set gets just bonkers, right? Uh, and so, yeah, that's what we're seeing here, too. This is wild. It it almost seems like it's a piece of copper, but it couldn't be. Uh, I'm going to go try to figure out what this EI... I'll go do some translation work and try and figure out what this is supposed to be. I'll be, right? Yeah, I don't know. I... <laughs> say that I, I i spent a lot of time trying to translate it and i just can't understand what it was trying to say uh the best i can come up with is that this is somehow related again to uh, alphonse muka the famous painter somehow although it's very strange because you have to like go through this ma Zay Fing character and then from that somehow translate into move it's it's weird and i that could be completely wrong too so i don't even know but yeah just again just look at how nice that is and that that these over here are flat the ones on the corners but that is something embedded in the actual card and i'm sure it's just a you know plastic stone but still awesome how cool is that? So there you go. One full box of uh, One Piece cards. And what a set. Like, epic. Very, very good set. Uh, I have no hesitation recommending this. Uh, yeah, if you like trading cards at all, uh, pick up a box. You, you will, like, look what you get <laughs> from one box. It's amazing. And there is a ton of variety. I was wrong. I said 579. Uh, it's 529. But I translated that again, and it's definitely right. Like, they are they are claiming on the flyer that there are 529 unique cards in this set. 
and I don't doubt it. Like, from what I've seen, each of these that you're seeing here, where we have, like, three, are massive. Like, there's 36 different SSRs, right? So all the different levels are like that. So I could easily see this adding up to uh, to, to the 500-something. Um, but man, amazing. Just so good, so good. Okay, I'm going to stop uh, just gushing over this, and uh, I'm going to clean up for the night, because that, that was uh, a lot of fun. Um, now i got to put some stuff away and tear the studio down and convert this back into an office <laughs> for work and everything. Uh, but yeah, I'll be back uh, next weekend and I'll do some more cool videos. We should get a lot more packages by then, so it should be, uh, should be fun. And yeah, I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.